Alrighty folks, thought I would do a tour of my kayak, talk about some of the pros and cons and some of the aftermarket modifications that I've done. I got this about a year ago. This is my first kayak. It happens to be a Old Town Sportsman PDL 120, approximately 12 feet long. And I'll just start from the front of the kayak and just point out some of the things I think are good, bad. Again, this is just my opinion. Fished it only in fresh water. Um, fished it in lakes, rivers, ponds. Fished it in kayak tournaments. And so I've been on it quite a bit, uh, even though I've only had this a year. We'll start with the handle here. I haven't had any issues with it. I know some people, this plastic piece comes off, but I don't think that really affects uh, the stability of this. You know, I put a little strap on here just because, you know, I'm 6'2", and, you know, when I do transport my kayak I like having it a little bit lower this is very important on some kayaks I've seen it this one runs perpendicular to the kayak where I've seen it run parallel unless you're going to be trailering it and, and backing into the water you're most likely going to be using a cart and pulling this just overall very rigid there's a drain plug here if you're washing the inside or water does get into the hull it's nice to have just to get the water out I added these Kydex, I don't know if you can see that, kind of protective strips. You're going to be dragging this thing, or at least I have, in rock and concrete. And, you know, I don't see it having any big issues, but long term, I think I just didn't want to wear it out, especially a brand new kayak. So what I did was just bought this, you know, a sheet of Kydex on Amazon, cut it out, and all you really need is a heat gun to just shape it. And once you do that, you know, I think I added 3M double-sided tape and then I just siliconed around it. Silicone's kind of coming off, but after a year of use, this thing's still holding on pretty good and it's protecting the, the kayak, so I'm happy with it. Bought a roll of reflective tape. You're more visible on the water. Not necessary to some. When I first got it, I was excited to do. <laughs> I think this is one of the best features of this kayak. This bungee strap is great. One-handed operation where you can just pop it off. And it's surprisingly easy to access even though you're on the water. And this lid is completely watertight. It's got like a rubber gasket pretty much around it. And that keeps the water out. I've seen guys buy extra propellers and, and attach it to the bottom of here. That's kind of a neat idea. But as you can see, I keep a lot of stuff in here. The storage space is incredible. Keep my flag, that extra line, my net, my catch board, PFD. And this is how I run my electronics. So this is the battery I use, the Nakwa 10 amp, which is fine. I only run a fish fighter to it. It never had it go out on me. I've used it eight. 10 hours straight and it's fine so the power cord runs inside there or I drilled a hole so that that can attach to the fish finder and this is the actual transducer cable so I had to drill a hole here and that's the actual transducer cable that, that is permanently fixed to the bottom of the kayak you can go with other aftermarket transducer mounts that can go on a track mount here. You can probably drill some, some holes and secure it onto this, but I just liked it. It was clean, it's out of the way. But again, this thing just holds so much. Got my uh, wet weather gear in here. I got a dry bag and some toiletries. And this actually runs all the way down the length of the kayak. So I used to transport my rods in here. And as you can see, this opening is extremely large. So you can pretty much get most things you need in here. There's foam blocking on both sides, and I think that's for ability, maybe buoyancy. Anyways, there's an opening to each side, so you can still slide rods in. And the most I've gotten is five or six, seven foot plus rods in here. No issues, no damage. That's an option here, especially if you don't have a, you know, the space in a truck. What most people are interested in, the PDL drive, the pedal drive, it's a bicycle pedal system where 
you know, your pedals are there, and the propeller turns it forward and reverse, which again is a huge benefit if you're kayak fishing. It's hands free. You know, some kayaks you have to pull a cable to go reverse. Uh, this one, it's it's all with your feet. And you know, if you're fishing shallow water, this pops up by the handle, and it just catches into there. Haven't had any issues uh, getting it out or putting it back down. And sometimes I just don't lock the knob here. What you'll do is just pop it out, slide that down, right? And you'll lock this. That keeps it in place. But what some people do is they just leave this unlocked. So it's almost like the Hobie kick-up fins. This one, if it hits something, it'll just pop up. So that'll protect your propeller. But I think the one main advantage of this is this thing is almost indestructible, but I've dropped this. It's very, very well made. Now, your propeller, it's plastic. And this is an aftermarket cap, and it came with a stainless steel nut. This is great because it floats. So if you're having to change out a propeller, which I think most people will eventually have to do, and I keep a spare. I bought it from Old Town. You don't want the accident of dropping that stainless steel nut in the water. So this thing is great, keeps it nice and secure, and it floats. The one downside I, I would say is this thing weighs a lot. If I had to guess, 20, 20 something pounds. But again, you know, it is pretty indestructible in my opinion. So I think that weight helps. This is great too, it's bungees if you need to keep something tied down. Sometimes I put my cell there. Again, a, a watertight seal here. Just enough to keep your phone, wallet, sunglasses, but whatever you need it for. Again, this is watertight. And it's, you know, you can seal it or close it with one hand. These pedals, a lot of folks change them because they say this, this rubber comes off. I haven't had that problem yet, but again, it's only been through you know one season of fishing this does make squeaking noises at times and just looking on YouTube just take you know there's a there's a screw in there take that out clean it off and then just put some type of marine lubricant I use WD-40 I don't have marine lubricant and, and it seemed to fix the issue this is aftermarket and what that is is just basically when the pedal drive is, is down you can just set your rod on there. You know, the, the, the butt will go there and then the rod tip will go there. Don't really use it that much. You know, again, when I first got it, I think most guys and gals, they accessorize the crap out of their kayak just because they're excited. And especially if you're in the winter and you're not able to fish, the next best thing is to buy stuff. Again, this is your transducer cable goes through and mine is attached to the bottom. Let me see if I can show you guys. Or this transducer bolt system I bought from Nick at Navarre Fishing. It works great. I have a Garmin 4CV, which is, you know, it's fine for me. It's not the best. So this was the, the hole I drilled from inside the hole here. This is the power cable and the transducer cable. Just Velcroed it onto here, kind of keep it organized. And they're right here. When I'm not using it, I'll keep the the caps on just keep dust and debris out of it and then I have my fish finder mounted on a track here I could put it here on this track I just like it kind of out of the way here it's adjustable I made this screen with the leftover kydex let's go to the other side this is awesome this is a I think yak attack cup holder that's on a track there's actually even accessory you, you could put on the cup to hold some lures and things uh, but this is great because it fits a big water bottle uh, you got tracks on both sides I like keeping this right side open I actually will put this cup holder on that side and then I just keep kind of you know um, a little bag with some of the tools that I need fish grippers scissors pliers and this is all connected to the track here. I think I bought this on Amazon. 
And I think one of the most important things if you're new to kayak fishing is tether everything. Dummy cord everything to the kayak. I've gone through, I think, two or three uh, fishing scales just because I got excited because I landed my first pike and a big bass. So now I have a floating scale. One nice thing is these storage pockets on both sides. It's kind of like a, a rubber material that you can clip things to. I use these a lot. I kind of use them as my garbage can. There's actually something in there. Oh. The deck is super comfortable. In the summer, it's barefoot. It's nice and comfortable, not slippery at all. You got four scupper holes here. And this is kind of neat. This is a one-way scupper plug. So what it is, it'll keep water from coming in, but it'll drain water. It's kind of neat. Uh, I used to put, put them in all the scupper holes on the kayak, but I realized when I'm standing, it's, it's good to have some of these exposed. It just helps with the stability. But you want to keep the ones under your seat, I think, plugged, especially in winter, because you don't want your rear end wet and cold. Okay, uh, the seat, awesome seat by the way, and it slides up and down uh, on this track. There's two of them. And you can adjust it however you need it. The seat, from my understanding, uh, is a big improvement from the top water uh, model. Um, there's no bar here, so it's not resting on your back. Uh, one thing I would highly recommend, I'm not sponsored by this company, is this kayak cushion. The company is called Kayak Cushion, and it is a lifesaver. You know, when I'm on the water eight plus hours, it's a huge difference from having this versus not having it. I mean, the seat is comfortable. But I didn't get this right away. And the only time I noticed not uh, having this is the day after I kayak fish without it. You know, my back will be a little bit sore. And I'll realize, ah, I didn't have the cushion. You know, some people have it here and then also have it as kind of like a lumbar support on the seat. So I have seat risers here. Uh, these are two and a half inch. I had an inch, but I'm just, I'm a tall guy. I like kind of, you know, in the higher seat position. They say, you know, it messes with stability. I haven't noticed it. I noticed when I didn't have anything, it was hard for me to stand uh, just because my, my knees were so much higher than you know my my core when i'm sitting down on this but again it's personal preference you know i can't tell the much of a difference from having one inch versus two and a half inch seat risers but i can tell from having seat risers versus not having seat risers it just makes it so much easier to stand sit down uh i saw this these straps from chad hoover from kbf when, when i transport the kayak I just have two of these, just tie them down because I just don't like the seat flapping when I put it in the bed of my truck. Uh, Amazon again. Let's see, this is the strap to my cart. I think most folks are going to have some type of cart. You know, tra even if you have a trailer, I see most guys put it on, on a cart and then uh, pull it to the water. I mean, not every uh, lake's going to have a boat ramp where you can launch you know directly off your uh, trailer and it seems like there's two you know main ones that folks are using with this type of kayak you know i have the malone wide track which is great it's very sturdy gets the job done uh, i had i can't remember what company i they were green um it was the cart was green had holes in it it just did not work as is you had to make modifications to it i think a you know, some folks on YouTube are putting PVC pipes, cutting it, attaching it on. But that the way that this hull is shaped, um, yeah, I, I think the Maloan wide track or I think the better one is the Wilderness uh, HD cart. It's more expensive. I think it's 200 plus if you can find one. Uh, but what I like about the, Malo uh, the Wilderness versus mine is I have to strap it down every time. Otherwise, the cart will just slide off with uh, the wilderness HD cart you don't have to do that however I think one of the benefits of this cart is when you set it down to put your kayak on top of it uh, it's not as high meaning you don't have to lift the kayak as high to set it on top I think the wilderness HD cart 
when you lay it flat and it's you know kind of at a 45 degree angle you have to raise the card a little bit higher which may be an issue for you know someone that's shorter or i mean this is a heavy kayak so uh it may be an issue having to lift it you know even a few inches higher than than you have to this is your rudder control here so your rudder right now i have it's, it's secured down but this will raise and lower it you it'll swing all the way out of, over to here no issues there uh this is kind of nice it's a cooler by uh let's see perception kayaks um I just like to keep some drinks in here uh, food snacks it's easy to get to since it's you know in the back of the seat not a must just something um you know i think cooler is a must for anyone that kayak fishes long enough whether you want to keep things hot or cold um it comes with let's see one two two three rod holders so these are rear facing that one was rear facing but I'll, I'll show you that in a second that one was but i modified it um because i just don't use that one this one i don't really use that much either uh, but it's nice to have especially if you're trolling um, the the storage well here is huge move these by the way these nrs boundary boots are amazing completely waterproof um, especially in cold weather uh, but this live well this storage well is amazing it's huge um, you can have some type of you know crate milk crate or storage box like i do this one's wilderness systems this one's great you can keep stuff on the top and then you can keep your tackle or whatever else you need inside I'm currently in the middle of reorganizing my my gear so nothing's in there and it comes with four rod holders i had to kind of modify these a little bit put some bait casters in there and then just use this to secure it works pretty well um but anyways the space back here is great i take this out sometimes and i'll put a, a stadium seat so my daughter can sit you know facing the rear uh, so we can both sit on this uh, i added these straps um you know not necessary but for me it's really because all right battery went dead but i think i was talking about these handles not necessary but i have them on here when my daughter sits back here she has something to hold on to go back so this is a nice bungee uh, you can put your uh, rudder under it when you're transporting it to secure it no issues here this thing's great i do have one minor thing this is, is some type of tubing for the rudder controls it does keep popping out spoke to old town they said to silicone it it didn't work uh, but not a big deal uh, so again you use that arm up there to raise and lower this uh, there's an area here for a shallow shallow water anchor i have my anchor wizard mounted here with a mushroom anchor i think this is five pounds uh, which is great um, and here it used to be a uh, fishing uh, rod holder i took that out because uh, i just don't use these and i put a, a track mount on there um, so I can hold five rods instead of four. Uh, added this track mount here for my anchor wizard. I do use this one. This one's forward facing. It's nice to have, especially when you know you're uh, retying. You know. uh, and this is an aftermarket uh, steering control. Moves, you know, moves the rudder. I did not like the one, Old Town. Uh, that the one that comes with it just looks flimsy and it there's a control knob to tighten and loosen uh, which is ridiculous overall i absolutely love this kayak i uh, feel very fortunate this being my first kayak period um, some of the things that you know i don't like or or maybe surprise me a little bit i'll go through some of those the first being the under the seat storage so these little grooves here are to put two fishing rods. You can lay them vertically. Um, 
but the problem is is you know for me I want to put fishing uh, you know Plano boxes down here but because of this you cannot and it's not wide enough uh, you know granted there's under the seat storage here I could put two 3600 boxes but it would have been nice if these were just flush with the kayak so you can just put more gear down there you end up not using it unless you're gonna put maybe soft plastics I mean, just one of those things where I wish you know I could use that storage more now the, the biggest thing is the weight of this especially after fishing all day you know depending on how you're loading this if you're car topping it or putting it in the bed of your truck it is heavy you know if you feel like that might be a challenge you know trailering it as an option but also just removing all your gear you know which is going to take some more time but that'll definitely lighten the load but again it comes with the size of this kayak it's 12 feet it's 36 inches wide it's super stable um, but then with the stability because it's so stable and wide it's definitely not the fastest kayak what do you want you want stability or you want speed i think if you want speed and you want to stay with the old town line the salty um, model i heard is a lot faster it's a little bit different shaped hull uh, but again you're going to lose some of that stability for me this is fine i don't need to go you know more than you know three four miles per hour which is what i'm getting uh, with the pedal drives uh there's really not that much uh that i don't like about this you know nothing major again there's tons of aftermarket accessories you can buy for this uh, and, and if you've ever owned a kayak, you know, I mean, it's, it's endless uh, how you can modify it. You know, I plan to put lights on this. I've even thought about maybe adding a Bixby motor or a Torquedo. Uh, but again, you know, for what I need it for, which is predominantly, you know, smaller lakes and ponds, this is absolutely a beast. Um, one thing I didn't show you is it's another way to access the hole. So the seat is held down by two straps. Right there, it comes up. So you have this here. I mean, I, I don't really use it ever, but I do keep, you know, a bilge pump down there, but it runs the length of the entire hole. So if something slides down, or if you need to clean this area, you do have this. And again, it's got that same watertight seal here and it locks too but see again it's a pretty narrow uh, under the seat storage you know because they wanted to give you uh, access to uh, lay your rods down and there is another cup holder here but i prefer the yak attack one i talked about earlier just because it's wider it can hold a little bit more and it's taller so things aren't going to fall out um but overall yeah i mean this is an awesome kayak about the customer service if i ever have a question or an issue is great one more thing this is just personal preference um, but for me i wish there were more track mounts to add accessories you know it's just it's always nerve nerve-wracking me having to drill into here which you're going to eventually have to do but i had add one for the anchor wizard uh one for here for the you know the retrieve for the anchor wizard you know but again personal preference I would rather have more track bounce than rod holders because I think most guys that I see, you know, they have some type of crate here to keep all their rods. Overall, I can't complain. Um, I absolutely love, you know, my Sportsman uh, PDO 120. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want me to post some follow up videos, you know, just you know, comment down below. Um, I, I plan to post a lot more fishing videos. Uh, but again, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care. One last thing. This is probably going to seem minor. Uh, there's two hand grabs on both sides of the back of the kayak. This is huge, especially when you're having to lift this to put it on your cart. It is a lifesaver. Um, very, very smart by Old Town to make that. And I think that's a new modification before they had, I think, one handle or maybe none.